The Mason City Fire Department is taking an extra step to keep their crew and the public safe from the spread of COVID-19. ABC 6 News reporter Brett Backley shows us how. Ambulance crews with the Mason City Fire Department have found a new home just across the street from the fire station. There's four of us over here at Station 2 is what we're calling it. Mm -hmm. um, and then the rest are at the headquarters, if you will, Station 1. The City of Mason City has entered a new lease allowing the fire department to open a temporary second station. On-duty ambulance crews will be housed in the new building while fire crews remain at headquarters in hopes that the physical separation will reduce the spread of COVID-19 within the department. Really the goal here is to preserve the essential workforce the best that we can. It's important that we um, separate ourselves as much as possible on our shifts since, since we only have the one station, the second station allows us to be um, more isolated, if you will, so that we don't get ourselves, the whole entire department, sick. Protecting themselves will also help protect the people they serve. By keeping us safe and reducing the risk the best we can, uh, that ensures that we can take care of the community. Adjusting to how they prepare for their 24-hour shifts has been a challenge. We're not able to go over to the other station, even though it's literally kitty corner across the block. I've been on the department for almost nine years, and I've acquired quite a few things in my locker, so trying to think of what is most important or what you might need is a little interesting. The temporary housing is not expected to affect any emergency responses. In Mason City, Brett Backley, ABC6 News. The rent expenses will be included as part of the request for coronavirus aid assistance funding.